Hey, how are you today? It's a little bit late. Sorry about the darkness of the video. I just had a couple people ask me how to know the difference between what I'm thinking and what I'm getting. And then if I discover that it's something that I'm getting, is it a message? Where's it coming from? That sort of thing. So I just wanted to give you a few tidbits. And remember, I do teach one-on-one -on -one and I teach classes about this stuff. So a little YouTube video is not going to be your, I mean, I don't want you to think, okay, I've got it. I've got everything now. Um, and the other thing is, is you know, I know a lot of people pick up books and, and there's a lot of books on the market about this. There's a lot of YouTube videos about this kind of stuff. There's a lot of videos every, there's a lot of people talking about this stuff. Please, 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 please use discernment. Okay. Um, not everything that glitters is gold. Just because somebody says they can do something or they have something or they have a gift Maybe they do. Maybe they can. They've been right on about certain things. But you need to know them by their fruits, okay? We look at the person. How do they live? And I'm not talking about do they have a million dollars and are they famous and how many clients they have. I'm talking about who are they as a person, okay? And I know that you don't know these people personally, but do a little bit of research. Don't believe everything you hear. There have been books, literally, just books. You know, we have something called itching ears, okay? And if somebody teaches something that just sounds good to you, it lets you off the hook, and you're like, okay, that sounds great. It sounds really good, doesn't necessarily mean it's true, okay? And it can lead you down a really dark road. So I just want you to be careful with that, especially when you're dealing with the supernatural, the afterlife, the other realm. All those kinds of things, you can really get yourself into some deep, deep, you know what, okay? So, um, so anyway, first and foremost, how to tell the difference between something that you are getting, that you're being told, the answer to a question, the answer to a prayer, and something you might be thinking. You know, for instance, um... Uh, one of my clients was talking about somebody leaving that is planning on leaving. It's in motion. That's, you know, adamant about leaving. And she keeps thinking that this person isn't going anywhere. And sh she had asked me, how do I tell the difference? Because, you know, sometimes we want something so bad and we just, we refuse. There's a difference between being in denial and refusing to see being avoidant and totally, you know, nope, I'm not going to hear that and actually getting something. One way you can tell is I don't want you to go by your feelings. Your feelings can be very deceitful. They can fool you, okay? Don't go by your feelings. With anything, even when we're talking about, you know, the spirit realm and that sort of thing, don't go by your feelings because you know what? Evil can put on a mask. Evil's not going to present itself as evil nine times out of ten, okay? So don't go by your feelings. First of all, when it is something that you're getting, it's going to come out of left field. It, it may or may not be something you want. It may be like, wow, I don't want this to happen, you know? Um, then again, I don't want you to get like, you know, a lot of people worry and our minds can trick us and say, you're never going to get that job. You're never going to get that guy, whatever. Um, that can be your mind tricking you. So there's, there's many aspects to this. But one way you can know is, do you doubt it at all? Is there like, do you just know it? Do you just know it? Like you have no reason to know it. You haven't studied it. Like you, you have no reason to know this as fact, but you do. But you do. And you would bet money on it. And you would bet whatever, something important to you on it. Or do you think, well, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. That, that, okay. So that, that's one difference. If you know it to be true and there's no reason for you to know it to be true, you could be getting something. If it's something that you're thinking or you're hoping for, you might go back and forth with it and go, um, it's usually something that you're getting. 
it doesn't necessarily have any logic behind it. It might not make any sense at all. I'm going to get that job. I just know I'm going to get that job. I just know it. You don't have the qualifications. You don't have the degrees, you know, this kind of stuff. So logic says, no, you're not going to get that job. One person, one time, I remember she wanted to get into the school and <clears throat> I kept getting, you're going in, you're going in at a different time. You're going, it's not the way they normally run things. And I knew nothing about this school. I have no idea how it goes. And she kept saying, no, 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 they won't do that. Are you sure you're not mistaking it for something else? And when she said that, now my logical mind said, well, maybe I am. But yet the the message came clearly. No, you're not. She's getting in just like you said. It didn't change. I didn't budge on it. That's how I knew it wasn't coming from me. It wasn't an opinion. It wasn't... Um, it, it, I had no reason to know this, but I knew it. And you know what? It eventually did happen. And sometimes, sometimes when you get things, you might think it's happening today and it doesn't happen till down the road. Okay. That's another thing. Sometimes everything that you get, well, not everything. Sometimes you can tell it's off in the distance, but a lot of times it feels like it's happening right now. It's actually not happening right now in our linear time, but you get it that way, okay? But you'll know it, know it, know it, know it, know it, no denying it. And no matter how much you go with your logical mind and say, well, that doesn't make sense, it bounces back. That's the only way I can describe it. It like bounces back and you're like, no, it is what it is. It's what I said the first time and I'm not going to change that. You know, that's how you know. Um... Another thing is if you're still not sure, if you get it that way and you go, okay, I'm still not sure. I mean, if you're questioning it that much, chances are it's really not something you're getting. It's more something you either hope for or you want it to be. But just for argument's sake, let's say, okay, you're still not sure just because you don't trust yourself or whatever. Um, ask. Say, okay, I need to know that this is really true. It's really of the light. It's good. Can you show me in another way? Could you give me a sign some other way? Don't tell God what to do and say, show me exactly this. You know, I want to see uh, the number 55 in five minutes. But say, show me something clearly that I will see, I will hear, I will know another sign that tells me exactly what I'm getting is true. And you'll get that. You will get that. Um... So that, that's, I mean, start with that, okay? Another thing that you can do to make sure that you're open is raise your vibration each morning. Um, and before you go to sleep each night, do, a, do another protection ritual. So in the morning, and I'll just do it like really quickly. Anything that I tell you to do can be done very quickly. You can take your time at it or you can do it very quickly. But I literally, like I stand up, I can't stand up now because I have my doggie on me. See, she's she's on me. But um, just take some deep breaths in and hold it. One, two, three, and release. One, two, three. One, two, three, and release. Do that two or three times. Get your heart rate nice and low. And just, I actually start like just below the knee with my hand and sweep the energy right up, 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 and feel it, feel it coming up. Lift it up, bring it up above your head and bring it down, 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 and around you. And envision envision your energy actually lifting up think of at least five things that you're grateful for do this in the morning i'm grateful i woke up i'm grateful for my family i'm grateful for this house i'm grateful for the good night's sleep i had i'm grateful for the job i'm going to i'm grateful that the sun's shining outside whatever it is but think you know the more you go into gratitude you're opening your heart okay and go about your day you know go about your day. Um, but stay open. I'm going to do another video on another technique, but that's one. And I do that every morning. I used to have a boss that, uh, I remember one day, every day she did that. She'd be like, um, and, 
and then you come back down after you you raised up your your vibration you come back down and bring it out around you out 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 around you and um then you're you're bringing all that love around you and then you just want to do a quick up and down again and all around you of protection and picture that protection like a like an invisible force field that nothing anybody shooting at you is going to get to you but you know you don't shoot it back i don't i don't i know some people shoot it back to them i don't necessarily care to do that i like to send it out so that that it, god can just transmute it into something else something for the, everybody's good you know if we send it back to them they're just it's just they're miserable anyway if they're sending you negative shots okay i mean that's up to you do what you will but never ever ever send it out to somebody negative don't ever send anybody anything negative um and then at night just quickly before you go to bed just kind of shut yourself down just okay all right shut it down protection Please protect me while I sleep, okay? Any and all messages that I receive in any dreams, any and all en um, entities or people that want to come to me, I allow only good, positive, pure truth to come to me. I will not accept any negative, demonic, or any kind of any kind of negative entity at all. No darkness, only light. And then go to sleep. Okay, that's a tip for today. Um, stay tuned. And, oh, I said that I would tell you the difference, how to discern. I'll just say this really quickly. And this is just one little tidbit. Um, you got to test the spirits, okay? They're a lying spirit. So first, sometimes if a negative entity is around you, you feel it, you know it. But remember, we can't trust our feelings because they, they do mask themselves. They will pretend to be whomever. They will pretend to be even, you know, God himself, whatever. Um, you have to be really careful. One way that you can discern is make sure that your vibration is up there. Because if you're up there, you are going to immediately know. You're going to immediately know if something um, is negative. Um, and it's not just a feeling. It's like a knowing, okay? Um Sorry about that, my hand got tired. Um, so keep yourself up there. Keep your frequency high. That's one way. Another way is test them. Ask them questions. Ask them where they came from. Ask them if God is real. That sort of thing. I'm telling you, they will answer you and they will go. They will run from you if they find out that you know who they are. All right, that's just a quick little tidbit. Uh, I hope you have a great night. Stay tuned. I got some more ideas. I got some more videos coming. I was hibernating for, uh, gosh, nearly 24 hours, so I got a lot of catching up to do. I'll keep you guys posted. Hey, I did go back up north for that missing case, missing Maura Murray. Stay tuned for a video on that, okay? Talk to you later, guys.